Hello and welcome to GSC at Home, bringing you a bit of science every day at 10am. My name is Natalie, I'm an astronomer and today I want to show you how you can find the first thing I always look for whenever I go stargazing, a star called the North Star. Now when people look for the North Star, usually they try to look for a very bright object. But the brightest objects in the nighttime sky, other than the moon, are usually the planets. Luckily, in a previous episode, we talked about how you can tell the difference between stars and other objects like planets. If you're looking for a star, you've got to make sure it's twinkling. I'll leave the link to that video down in the description. But even if you found the brightest star in the nighttime sky, you wouldn't have found the North Star. You would have found a star called Sirius. And if you tried to use Sirius to find North, you would get very lost because the North Star is not the brightest star in the nighttime sky, or the second brightest, or even the third brightest. It's actually the 46th brightest star in the nighttime sky. So looking for a bright star isn't going to help us. Instead, we need to look for a pattern of stars that acts like a signpost, a pattern of seven stars that you probably recognize called the plow. In Germany, it's called the Grosse Wagen. In America, it's called the Big Dipper. And in France, it's called La Casserole, which is my favorite, which means the saucepan, because I think it looks exactly like a saucepan. It's really bright, so you should be able to spot it even from a city. And right now, from the UK, it is almost directly straight above our heads. So see if you can find it. To find the North Star, we need to use the two stars at the end. We call these the pointer stars. Imagine you've got the plough as your saucepan, you've gone through the handle, into the pot, and those two stars at the end, we're going to draw an imaginary line between, and we're going to use that imaginary line to point straight across the sky, and they go straight to the North Star. So you can see the North Star isn't especially bright, but it is still bright enough to spot in a city, and pretty easy to find using our plough. And now you will never get lost again, because the North Star is right above the North Pole. So if you followed it, you would be heading north. You can point to the North Star, drop your hand to the horizon, and you know that is where north is. If it's to your right, you're traveling west. If it's to your left, you're traveling east. And if it's behind you, you're traveling south. If you wanted to measure the angle between the North Star and the horizon, that would be your latitude, the angle that you are from the equator on Earth. If you were at the North Pole, where do you think the North Star would be? What if you were at the equator? Where would it be then? The North Star is also important because it's the only star that stays in the same place. If you imagined watching the stars throughout the night, it would start to look like they would move across the sky. But this isn't because the stars are moving, it's because we're moving. Our planet Earth spins 24 hours in one day, kind of like a wheel that spins. But if you imagine the middle of a wheel, that bit stays in the same place. And that is just like our North Star. It's above our North Pole that our planet spins around, so it's the only star that stays in the same place. And all the other stars look like they go around it, just like you can see here. In fact, the plow makes a great big circle around it. But you can see that no matter what, those pointer stars will always point you towards the North Star. And from the UK, we can do that any night of the year, any time of the night, provided the clouds aren't up there. Another common mistake is that the plough is a constellation. Now, a constellation is a pattern of stars that is recognised by the International Astronomical Union. And our sky is split up into 88 constellations that we can use a bit like a map to find things in the nighttime sky. Any shape that isn't a constellation that we make is called an asterism, and the plow is an asterism. If you go out tonight and you make your own shape of stars, then you have made your very own asterism. But the plow is inside a constellation. It's inside the constellation of Ursa Major, the Great Bear. We like to say that this is the Mother Bear, and she is angry because she can't find her baby bear. Luckily, we can help her find her baby bear 
Because if we can find the plough inside Ursa Major and use the pointer stars to point towards the North Star, the North Star is in the tip of the tail of the baby bear. So if you can go out stargazing, you can not only use the North Star to find North, but you can reunite the mother bear with the baby bear. So there you go. That is how you can find the North Star. Let us know if you go out stargazing and you find it for yourself. If you've got any questions, please tweet us at GSC Planetarium. If there's anything you'd like to see next, any constellations you'd love to know how to spot, then please do comment below. And we'll see you tomorrow at 10am.